Hi folks, it's Lori Hollander here. That's Bob. Hollander. Hollander. <laughs> and it is Q&A Thursday where we answer your questions. Now, instead of a question today, we wanted to let you know that if you want to come see us live, next Thursday, May 31st, we're going to be presenting a workshop from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Chesapeake Mental Health Collaborative in Towson, Maryland. A great group of people, and I mean that. Yes. They're wonderful. They're they, great to present They really for. are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, we are going to be presenting the three keys to emotional and sexual intimacy in your relationship. So we're very excited about it. We haven't been live anywhere for a while, yeah, so yeah, yeah. It, it should be a lot of fun. Um, if you want to register, go to their website, which is cmhcweb.com. It stands for Com Chesapeake Mental Health Center, web.com. Mm -hmm. um, so we wanted to tell you about these three keys to give you a little taste of what we're going to talk about. Um, the first key is emotional connection. So Bob, how do people create emotional connection? Well, it has a lot to do with the second key, which is communication, but we'll talk about that secondly. Right. Emotionally... I think, you haven't heard this before, but I think it's almost like before you can emotionally communicate, you have to have some sense of who you are. It's almost like to, to have an idea, the emotions that are going on inside. Mm -hmm. And then when I have the courage to deal with my pain and my fear and my sadness and all that, mm -hmm. if I can capture those feelings, then I can communicate them. Mm -hmm. However, However, the atmosphere, you and other people, help me get to that point where I can feel safe enough to look into myself. Okay, yeah. I like that. And when I think of emotional connection, um, I think of two people who are being very authentic and genuine with each other, even about the most difficult things and mm. listening to each other and that is where I think the deepest emotional connection yeah, yeah. is. Yeah, and it's not always a lot of fun. I, I, I think that we, when we have emotional connection it can be one of the most painful things I've ever mm -hmm. experienced and I want to offer that to our listening <laughs> audience <laughs> but it, 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 it does yeah. uh, create an atmosphere where the relationship is, yeah. is nurtured and, and it grows. It's like Bob, if, if you see me crying that's when you immediately come over and you want to know what's wrong and then I tell you and then we feel very connected, right? No. No? no? When I see you crying, I keep telling myself, I'm a therapist and I don't know what to do. <laughs> and I get into a panic and then I just treat you like another client. Oh, Which seems to work. And why yeah. not? You I know, know. Use my tools. Well, we practice what we preach. Right, we do. Yes. We have to. All right, the second emotional connection is communication. And this is where it's really all about listening, about understanding and validating each other's point of view and having empathy, and about managing conflict. Yeah, and communicating, you know, as I said before, it's important to know what's going on inside. But when you put it to words and express it to your partner, you'll get feedback and you learn a lot more about yourself. I often feel that I have learned a lot about me because of you mm -hmm. and communicating with you. Mm -hmm. and, I, I, and I often feel that it takes a partnership to learn about oneself. Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. Because you see yourself through your partner's eyes. Yeah, yeah. And um, mm -hmm. the skill of managing conflict, Bob, that is a humongous one that couples need to learn because we all have conflict except us. We never fight, right, Bob? I have no idea what that word <laughs> means. We have conflict a lot. A lot of times. We yeah. just know what the steps are, and we're going to talk about them at the workshop, yeah. um, to walk through the conflict to get to resolution. Yeah. Conflict is a symptom. You go to the doctor, something hurts. The doctor touches it. Maybe the dentist hits the nerve to find out and locate what the problem is. Conflict is a, is a pathway to a lot of hurt mm -hmm. down deep. And mm -hmm. if you can both journey together as a partnership, mm -hmm. it's hard. Yeah. Uh, then you, you uh, can 
deal with your deepest pain and then also create a lot of trust in the relationship because you're doing it in a, in a such a vulnerable way with your partner. Yes. The third key to communicate and to feel sexually and emotionally connected is sex. Why is sex, sex. important in a relationship, Bob? Well, <laughs> sex is a, a, a many, a, a, a many, a, many, a multi factorial experience for lots of people. What I what <laughs> okay. I mean is that it creates it's it's a, it's a wonderful thing. It can bring up some sadness, it can bring up some pain. It really especially with a guy, it really really opens up opens them up emotionally. Mm -hmm. uh, and communi but but with sex, um, you reach a place of vulnerability and that's so important yes. for developing trust. Right. Especially, you know, uh, my vulnerabilities um, I need to be able to experience with you mm -hmm. and, and in sex they do come up. Yeah, absolutely and there's so many issues around it yeah. but that's the one thing that couples really are reticent to talk about and you have to talk about it. Yes. We talk about it here all the time. Right. So um, it's important to work on that and to share with each other mm -hmm. what you need and you'll hear more about that next Thursday. Yeah. So if you would like to come see us live, we'd be very excited to meet you. We want to see you. Yes. Yes. Um, and that's next Thursday, May 31st, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Chesapeake Mental Health Collaborative. Their website to register is uh, cmhcweb.com. So hopefully we'll see you there, and next week we'll be back with our question and yeah, answer. You're going to love it. You're going to love that group, and I think uh, you'll get a lot out of it. Yes. Take care, folks. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.